Orwell's novel 1984 contained the foremost prophecy of the Cold War, that Stalinism would be rendered unstoppable with the advancement of technology. However, when the technologies that would enable this global totalitarian village emerged, all everything, the possibilities for the surveillance, the electronics, etc., the victim was not democracy and individual freedom being the casualty, it was totalitarianism itself. Ever since Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein published I Don't Know When, dystopian futurists have been making the predictions that technology would eventually overcome all attempts to control it and destroy the world. On the note that technology would eventually overcome all attempts to control it, they were definitely right, but would it destroy the world and be freedom being the inevitable casualty? No. In Orwell's time, Hitler had used radio to spread his eloquence to millions of Germans far more than his unamplified human voice could ever give. However, his extrapolation of this, I say, is completely impossible. Because, what is technology? Technology has been the most liberating force in human history. It's the Frankenstein that kills the tyrants, and it's ultimately benevolent to the populace because it gives them access to knowledge. The big lie fails when the truth is also heard, and totalitarianism's biggest enemy is free thinking. Technology spreads free information, and hopefully with that comes free thinking. And what is free thinking? Totalitarianism's biggest enemy. Back in World War II, what happened was it eventually became too expensive and uneconomical for the communists to continually be blocking a free radio broadcasts from free radio Europe. Radio shrank in size and cost, and information first rained, then poured across the walls, necessary to keep a functioning totalitarian civilization alive. The technology and liberation in China was primarily the fax machine, and spread the free information. The government can't resist forever. In fact, right now, China is wiring the entire country with internet access because they've realized that you can't compete in a global market without the internet. Simultaneously, they block hundreds of thousands of websites. Websites like CBS.com, ABC.com, Reuters, MIT, Caltech, University of Arizona. This error is quite simply Orwell's error. It's the idea held by almost every dystopian sci-fi futurist that only the state will be able to afford high-tech. This could be surveillance equipment, this could be electronics, robotics, genetics, whatever. But it's completely, utterly false. You can't even begin to count how many computers are in your own room or in your own house if you're watching this. How many are hidden in your microwave, in your automobile, in your iPod. The DOD has trouble getting the industry to respond to its needs. Now forget the military-industrial complex, the consumer market dwarfs the military one. Whenever possible, they don't get mill spec anymore. They buy consumer goods, GPS receivers, and Desert Storm from Radio Shack. Communications and information technology, freedom, free thinking, free culture. This introduces, for sure, problems for the guys on top, the powers that be. They're afraid of it because you can't control it. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know where it's going. It's raw. It's free. There are no limits. It's the internet. This is why the government believes that it is necessary to police the internet and control its growth and where it's going. I mean, what the hell would happen if people were free? But the powers that be aren't just the government. Corporations. The internet and technology gives more power to the populace. On the internet, people can make a good product and you can hear and see it without the need for a corporation to sponsor it. That means without the need for record companies, without the need for Paramount or Warner Brothers. Technology causes problems, but problems for whom? The corporations are afraid of free as in price, the government's afraid of free as in liberty. The government and the corporations wish to suppress the emancipator. Technology is pro-free. What does the internet give us? Free information as in price and as in liberty. What does the internet give us? Free thought and creation as in price and as in liberty. What does the internet give us? Free culture as in price and as in liberty.